On today's episode, custom short drive shafts. Hey YouTube, so uh, today's episode is going to be making a longer rear drive shaft out of this front drive shaft for, for my Suzuki Samurai. And I basically, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to I'm going to measure it from here back, cut it, take this weld off here, take this yoke out, and reinstall it, re-weld it. Stick around, see how it goes. I've had this, I've had this problem with my Suzuki. You can hear this clunking under there when you're, if you let out the clutch too fast. So I stuck a camera underneath to see what's happening, and you can see the where the extended slip yoke is, and this unit here. There's play. It's, you know, it's like it's, it's like it's pivoting in here so it's like there's not enough yoke or not enough splines inside the yoke so I'm going to extend my rear drive shaft to hopefully take care of that problem before it wallows it out in here so here's the problem I see this play here It's not much, but I think there should be more. This shaft needs to be longer, or you need to put a spacer in the back. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is establish a center line. Then, we're going to measure our length that we need. I already pre-measured it. I think it's 9 and 5 eighths. So we want from here to this edge here, 9 and 5 eighths. So it's hard to say where this is going to be, but that's a half an inch. So we'll go 9 and 5 eighths. a half an inch it's gonna be anywhere in that ballpark so now we'll just grind this weld off and hopefully this yoke will come out okay so here we got got her kind of cleaned up We just need to cut it here. Uh, probably something like that. Run our cutting disc right in between there. <clears throat> and then we'll drive this back on. This is a, a tight fit. So we'll drive it back on square and then we'll weld it. So we'll take our zip disc and we'll cut right along the tape line. Alright, so I cut it right just a bit wider than the tape line. Take the burr out of there. Okay, 
so now out of curiosity, I want to see what the wall thickness is. Looks like 93,000. 92.5. It's actually thinner than I thought it would be. Oh my god. So we're just gonna we're just gonna grind a bevel onto this so we get a good weld. Okay, so we ground a bevel on there. Now we'll try and drive this thing on. So you can see it drove on there nicely. And now we're going to lay some weld to her. Okay, so you've probably seen these wheels sitting over here wondering what it's for. Well, it's my, it's my jig here too. To turn it while I weld it. I think it should work pretty good. So I'm just going to throw a few tacks in it just so it doesn't move and then we'll weld it. And I got new U-joints so I'm not worried about the U-joints getting hot and cooking. So let's have a go at it. my helmet set a little dark I couldn't quite see where I was coming to the end I thought I was done and then I seen that I had to finish there so looks pretty good now to balance this thing is another little trick we'll put it on there and we'll you know take it for a drive and if I got a shake then we'll put a hose clamp on here and just keep moving the hose clamp, moving it and moving it and moving it until the shake take, shake disappears, hopefully. And then we can weld on a little block like what's over here. So once this cools good and proper, we'll shoot some paint on it and uh, hold her up and dry her out. So you can see the difference in length. It's not much, it's only like an inch and an eighth longer. And I'm hoping that that's gonna stop my shape. When we put this in, we want to make sure that it's in phase. So we want this part of the yoke in line with this yoke, you know, so you got to get it in the right spline. We'll just have a look at it. Looks like I got it bang on there.
There we go, that looks much better. Look at that. No more clunk, clunk, clunk up and down. That should be way better. So there you guys have it, lengthening or shortening, shortening a front drive shaft, simple job, lengthening a rear drive shaft with a front drive shaft, simple job, it took me like an hour, and uh, pretty much anybody can do it, just got to be careful when you're cutting, cut everything nice and square, you know, and put a good weld on there, if you don't know how to weld, get somebody that knows how to weld. So anyhow, thanks for watching Zuki Evolution. Subscribe, share, you know, hit the bell below to be notified of future episodes. And uh, yeah, leave some comments below. We'll catch you guys next time.